Bessel's equation. This equation is named after the German astronomer and mathematician Friedrich William Bessel. It was derived during Bessel's observations of the solutions to one of Kepler's equations of planetary motions. The equation is x squared y double prime plus x y prime plus x squared minus n squared times y. This is a linear second order ordinary differential equation. The solution of this equation is dependent on whether or not the parameter n is an integer or a non-integer. The Bessel equation has a number of applications, ranging from solving for patterns of acoustical radiation to heat conduction. In this video, I will talk about how it applies to the vibrations of the kettle drum as well as FM synthesis. First, let's look at the kettle drum. This is a drum that has a similar shape to a kettle and has a circular membrane usually made out of copper with a skin-like material stretched at the top. The vibration made from hitting this drum is similar to that of a vibrating string but differs in the sense that it is now two-dimensional. The equation of vibrations of the kettle drum can be written as such, where j lambda n is the Bessel equation with order lambda n. When plotting this graph for different stationary points, we can see the different shapes that it creates. When using 3D software, we can see how the Bessel function can create vibrating patterns relative to the given conditions. Next, let's look at frequency modulation synthesis or FM synthesis. This is when you use one waveform to modulate another. For example, if we have a low frequency sine wave and a high frequency sine wave, and we make the low frequency wave, in this case the modulator, modulate the high frequency one, known as the carrier, it produces this sound. This is the equation for the frequency modulated signal. The Bessel equations with order n are used to determine the amplitudes of the carrier and the sine band components. And we can write the frequency modulation formula in terms of the Bessel equation Jn. The Bessel equation is fascinating since it can show us how something so natural such as the vibration of a kettle drum works, as well as how something so synthetic such as FM synthesis works. Both of these help explain the technicalities of something like music, which is something that everyone can enjoy. Such as music that has been playing in the background throughout this video that was composed purely of sounds created through FM synthesis and kettle drums.